Hello YouTube, Tebow Van Dam here with another YouTube video. And for those of you who are not familiar with my channel, I am a DIY singer-songwriter based in Southeast London. And for the most part, I do share original songs. I'll also play covers of songs. And before I get into today's song, which is going to be kind of um, an arrangement of a, of a piece of music that appeared in the show, I just sort of want to take a moment to acknowledge and sort of talk about this period of time in which I was away from my channel. So today is... May 19th, right? Yeah, May 19th, 2022. And the last video I made was freaking ages ago, probably sometime in the winter. So I would estimate that it's been at least about six months since I made my last video. And there are reasons for this. So for those of you who aren't familiar with my channel, I will put a time sort of stamps so that way you can skip ahead if you just want to hear the piece of music. But otherwise, I will be um, talking a little bit if you want to hear what I have to say. So the first thing I have to say definitely um, before going any further is I just need to say thank you to all the people that did subscribe to my channel in the meantime while I was away. Uh, it really meant a lot and I was always getting notifications uh, via email, just this person subscribed, that person subscribed. And that really surprised me because I wasn't making anything new, um, but it was really good to know that people were still finding value in the videos that I was making. And so it definitely brought me back. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, then please consider it. It will always motivate me to come back to my channel and continue making content. So that's sort of one of the things that I need to say. And as to why I've been away, I've been away from my channel mostly because I've been focusing on guitar tutoring, actually. So about three years ago, I started teaching people how to play guitar. And then in the last year in particular, I really took it upon myself to focus on that a little bit more getting more students and also improving the ways that I teach and also what I'm able to teach people. And teaching has been honestly one of the greatest things that I've ever done uh, in terms of music because it's a way of sharing music with someone else, but also finding out more information. And in order to teach, you really have to be really confident, um, not only in knowing what you know, but also in acknowledging that you don't know everything. So that's been something that has been a learning curve for me, recognizing that I'm always able to learn something more. Um, and that's actually the thing that I found is my strength actually as a teacher is not my ability in knowing everything, but my ability to learn mostly anything uh, and my willingness to try to explain that in a way that sort of makes sense and is simple. So anyway, one of my students actually had suggested that I start to share some of the sort of fundamental ideas of guitar playing on my channel. And for a while, I sort of avoided this because I thought I was sort of giving too much away. But then I realized that actually showing people fundamental theory on guitar, how to play the instrument in a practical sense, but also in a theoretical way, how to write songs. These are things that I think everyone should have access to. And so I've decided, and I'm excited to be announcing right now, that I'm going to be starting a YouTube sort of series, a little bit like the one I did on music royalties, where I'm going to be talking about music uh, theory, and I'm going to be talking about practical guitar, how to play this instrument, what the parts are called, and I will be starting from the position of someone who is an absolute beginner. So if this is something that you've been interested in doing, and you've thought about maybe picking up the guitar at some point, then uh, I think that this would be a really cool journey for anyone to sort of join me on. And I have a lot of videos sort of just planned. I'll be talking about music theory in a basic way. So like the names of each string, the names of every sort of fret or the chromatic scale. But I'm also planning on even talking about advanced theory. So I want to talk about how to write songs, uh, what are cadences, um, and, and things like that. Also advanced sort of harmonic theory. So how to sort of interpret the thing that you're doing. Because actually, one thing I've learned in music is that nothing is sort of absolute or essential to anything that actually everything is sort of interpreted and that's been sort of an eye-opening sort of discovery for me and if that doesn't make sense then I'm sure it will throughout this sort of video series that I'm planning so definitely if you're interested in that please consider subscribing please you know like this video of course if that's the sort of thing that you're interested in and then without further ado I just want to go ahead and get into this uh, piece of music so over the last sort of I don't know year or so I watched the entirety of Seinfeld a second time. And there's this great episode, it's probably my favorite episode actually, where um, George is dating somebody and he's sort of avoiding her, which makes no sense because she's way out of his league anyway. But, you know, it's shortly after I think uh, George sort of starts doing everything the opposite 
of what um, he wants to do. So his intuition says, do this. And then he's like, no, I have to do the opposite. And his total life just turns around. I just love that episode. And I love that idea. And there's this one um, scene where he's avoiding this person that he's dating. And he's changed his voicemail to basically be this song. It's super cheesy. And I thought about it. And I was just like, I freaking love that composition. I think it's just so clever and there's some really interesting like kind of modulations weird sort of chords that don't exactly belong and so I spent a little bit of time on the guitar and I worked out a way to play it so I plan on tabbing this uh piece out I think there could also be tabs available on ultimate guitar so I might include a link to that but when I write my own tabs I'll include those I should also add that I've added uh, and sort of compose sort of an ending for this because I just thought, why the hell not? And I just sort of stumbled upon it as I usually do in music. Music is sort of discovered and uh, that's why it's so exciting. So without further ado, I'll just go ahead and play this. I guess this piece is called George is not home, but I'll probably change it to be about me. I really like that ending, especially ending on a suspended. It's kind of like, what will the message be? <laughs> and uh, anyway, uh, I know it was a short piece. I will also be sharing some of the original works I've been working on in this sort of last period of time. But um, for now, I'm trying to focus all my energies on sort of getting ready to do this series all about music theory. And probably the next uh, video I'll do will be about the most basic fundamental uh, it, 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 things to know about this instrument, kind of uh, how to hold it, things like posture I'll be doing individual videos on, just because they're such um, in-depth topics that actually it's really important to really explore them thoroughly. Um, and so I think each little topic can have its own video. I don't want the videos to be very long, so I'm really hoping that they're easy to access and they're thorough. Um, and then as always, you know, if you do have anything that you want me to explain on the channel, please write something in the comments below. Uh, it's the best way to sort of reach out to me. I don't know if you can message people on YouTube. That would be really cool. But alas, um, write something in the comments. And if you want to find out about how to play a song or whatever, I'll probably do that. I'll also probably do theoretical analyses of different songs that I think are interesting in terms of composition. That's probably something I'll end up doing at some point. So thanks again for watching. I hope you like this weird arrangement of George is not home from Seinfeld. Uh, like I said, I'll be writing some tabs for that pretty soon. And as always, uh, ciao for now, and I'll see you at the next video. Thanks.